Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Rainy, this is the Enchanted Planner, and today we're decorating for the week of October 16th, I think it is. See? Yeah, it is. It's the 16th. Okay, so October 16th. I am so excited about this. I've been I've been sitting on pins and needles, <laughs> eager to share it with you guys. So October 16th marks the 25th anniversary of Practical Magic, which is probably one of my favorite movies. So I've got a sticker set. It's in the shop. It's ready to go. Um, the difference in the shop version is this box has the whole um, things I know for certain is always throw salt over your left shoulder, you know, plant um, um, rosemary by your garden gate, lavender for luck, um, and always fall in love whenever you can, that thing, that's in this box. Otherwise, it's the same set. We've got quotes and then additional flowers if you want. But I think I'm going to use these because I've combined sort of rosemary, um, rosemary, <laughs> rosemary and some pretty, pretty florals. So let's get these guys off the discs. It's a short week here, as you all know, because it's, you know, Thanksgiving was Monday. So yeah, my life is really rushed this week do we want do we want i have this washi and it's got like stars on it i don't know if this will go but let's have a look shall we because <laughs> you know stars magic it's a little dark it is it is there's a couple in here that i've never used um what else we got in here got like a black and white polka dot i think i've used this one once it's also kind of dark what about this guy Not really one for horizontal stripes. I like vertical. Um, you know what? I think we're just gonna stick with the star washi. Cause you know, magic and all. Okay, so we got kind of a little bit of a loose plan. I do need to open my monthly for this to have a look. Cause this is a crazy busy week. Like really busy. <laughs> Okay, we have a little bit of a game plan. So I think we're going to start out with some wax paper, which is our friend. And we're going to grab this guy, throw him on there and see how long he ended up being. Oh, he's pretty good length, actually. And then I can put something down in this corner. Now I'm almost wishing I had a printed another sheet of this but let's see what we got I got some stuff on here that I, we can kind of bring into I just sort of wanted to mix the purple and the green I need my Tombow yeah I kind of wanted to mix purple because you know magic <laughs> and of course the rosemary brings in the green and stuff and lavender's purple I just playing off the stuff man just playing off of it so yeah it is in the shop if you'd like to go check it out i know i was i i are we straight yeah we're pretty good um i know that i was really pushing <laughs> to get it into the shop because i'm like that's all i'm gonna it's that's all that's gonna happen i'm gonna use this and then you're gonna be like isn't it in the shop and i'm like no not yet so i was actually ahead of the game you guys be proud be proud of me can i have my sticker please why don't you want to let go let go. I know you're attached. And sometimes my seriously small um, kiss cuts cause me grief. That one's a little small. I might take the larger corner piece, which is this one, and see how it fares. If it's a better fit. It kind of is, but it's going to cover up. Well, maybe not. If I got a better look at this on thinner wax paper I could tuck it behind I can also kind of just bring it down we don't have to use all of it right yeah I kind of I kind of like that I think and then it can overlap it can overlap a little bit because that guy's just a little too small he'll be fine for like the opposite corner if I wanted to put one up there but he's a little too small for this corner down here Right, so we kind of want it to sit like so. Let's press that all down and then get our scissors. So what y'all been up to? 
I learned something very interesting today. <laughs> and I'm going to store that knowledge for future use. Um, uh, it's a long story, but someone sent me some Planner Basics mini sticker books, which was awesome, right? <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. But um, when they showed up, my government decided they wanted, you know, tax and crap on them. So I phoned and I'm like, no, this is a gift. Like, what the hell are you, what the heck are you doing? They're like, well, you know, anything over $60. I'm like, you're kidding me, right? You're seriously kidding me right now. <laughs> so they charged me like, it was nominal. Like it's, it's nominal. It's like $3 and 49 cents or something on it but it was the principal right but they won't refund it because they're like oh anything over 60 dollars we're entitled even though you didn't spend the money i'm like you bastards that's fine that's fine i'll just make sure that in future anybody that if anybody sends me anything they're just going to make it valued like at 20 bucks <laughs> like, it i have a lot of humor about it it's comedic humor because it's also comedic annoyance because I'm like, is my government, and y'all know how shit's going south up here in Canada, I may be coming to the U.S., although I did look at becoming a U.S. citizen. Yeah, no, they don't want me. <laughs> One of you would have to sponsor me as a quote-unquote family member, but, it, you know, it's just, I just, I find it simply hilarious. So, my government and their serious problems with overreach, um, I guess, you know, they've mismanaged money so badly that now they're they're starting to hit up every, like, for everything. I just, I just, I don't know. <laughs> I just, or, I don't know. I'm just very annoyed by the whole situation. But comedically annoyed because only in Canada. <laughs> You'll have to let me know because some of you are in the UK, which has the that um, on everything too. So do you have similar issues when you're sent gifts? Do you still have to pay tax on it even though you spent absolutely no money on it. And like I said, at the end of the day, um, she's like, well, we can refund you. You have to fill out the form. I'm like, is it really worth it for like three bucks? Cause really I'd be refunded about $3. I'm like, well, I don't think that's really, you know, it's not that imperative to me. Cause you know, I would have spent way more than $3 to get the five sticker books. But I just figured I'd share it with you guys. Cause one, it's comedic. And two, it's a lesson for today. That. And I also found out, so if I send you guys, like if I was to send Di a package, a gift, if you will, of over $100, she would have to pay tax on it. Like, what is this? Like, I thought we had, like, there's the free trade thing, but that's only applicable to stuff that's made, like, basically in North America. I don't know. Some of it just annoys me. And again, I'm coming down to, is my government mismanaged money so badly <laughs> that now they're that desperate? <laughs> that they got to get like that $3 off of me. Oh, these are going to be fun to get up. So if you buy this set, just be mindful and careful with them. Because once again, I insist on giving myself these nominal kiss cuts. And sometimes, oh, did you not cut all the way through? I haven't really been having that problem lately on the Cricut. So what's going on here? Oh, no, it's good. We just got to, got to coax it. All right, let's get some wax paper. Because I want to kind of get a view on this. Because I'm thinking about... Mm, no, that won't work. Damn it. It would work on this side, but it's going the wrong direction. We could pop them out, though, like this. Oh, I could actually put them in the spine, too. That might be cool. Hmm. Okay, we'll come back to that. We do need to concern myself with boxes and such. Because, again, I do have a very busy week. I have to find my monthly under this mess. <laughs> okay, hold on hold on we're getting there so yeah I just I laughed and you know it's funny because anytime that I've sent a bunch of stuff to Rachel for example I always make sure when she um puts it on there that it's like a gift and whatnot and now I know that in future anytime she ships anything up I'm gonna make sure that she puts it like $60 or less because she sent me up stuff that's been like I mean I've had like probably a few hundred dollars in these boxes when I get Rachel to collect things for me and then um, get her to ship them up, right? But I learned something new today. I don't know that my government's going to be very happy that I learned something new today, but <laughs> whatever. They can deal. Okay, I think we're going to put this guy in this corner. I want some little clusters and I got to figure out how that's going to look. So let's get back to our little review for a second. 
if we put that one there and then on the Tuesday so I have a doctor's appointment on the Monday um, I have just regular bills on the Monday as well Tuesday's just a regular bill but I kind of want to bring in maybe this one or do I want to put that on the other side let's make sure my box is straight before we get too crazy here helps if my wax paper is straight <laughs> because something looked really wonky now we know what it was so my wax paper is weird wax paper is my bestest friend I tell you sometimes when it comes to planning okay see it slipped on me and my box ended up crooked and now I'm annoyed now I'm looking at this I don't know that I want that one we were I'm gonna grab do I want to get green on this side maybe we'll bring some green in like so kind of deal or do I want to just sort of stick with the darker tones I have a black one too it's okay we are prepared we are prepared all right this is annoying me you go there you kind of come and hang out there I hope that's straight yeah it's pretty dang good okay because then we've got a couple of directions we can go with this. I could bring in sort of like this little floral piece here, which is kind of nice, right? I also have like candles, crystals. I did a cat. I did um, the book. We did sort of a potion cabinet. We got the mar margaritas. We got the, the frog and the ring. <laughs> and then of course I've got the girls. And I really want to bring the girls in too. So let me bring in our Owens sisters before I forget. And we have the aunts and we definitely have to get the aunts on the page. So I think we're going to bring, I don't know how to do this in the best way possible. We could kind of, and yeah, we could go that direction. I could move this over a bit. And this could be like, mm, okay, hold on. I'm going to go this way. No, that's way too much. So it definitely has to go this way. Because they're sticking out on this side, it's not too bad. Are we straight? Please be straight because rearranging this is going to be a nightmare. Hang on, please stick down. Let's see if I can get this a bit straighter. I just want a couple of dots to line up against. Or even a line. Okay, you know what we're going to do. I'm actually going to use the lines because the wax paper is moving all over the place and it's driving me nuts. So we're just going to temporarily lay that down right there. And then we're going to take our other friend and we're going to get him stuck down so he's straight and then we're going to peel both of them up or not okay i guess we'll go at it from this direction no one wants to cooperate with me today it's annoying okay so i think we're i think we're good Good, 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 good. So now let's get back to wax paper because I just really need this to be able to place the girls. So if we just lay down our lay down our boxes and we come in with Sally and Jilly. And this guy's crooked again. I'm about to lose it with this bloody box. Okay, you know what? <laughs> We're just gonna do our thing here. So we're going to come in like this and then we're going to come in like this because there's nothing, they can't move on me when there's nothing to move. Okay, so let's put that down like that and we're going to come in like this, just a little farther over. Cute. Okay, now. Somewhere on this side, I want to get the aunts. And that's going to mean we need maybe a bigger box. Well, actually, no. I can probably do the same thing on the other side and just reverse it. So let's grab a black and 
Apparently I don't have a purple square. Well, I was hoping to have one with the Midnight Margaritas, but that's okay. Let's take this and our homeboy here and figure out how we're going to lay this in because the aunts are a little bit differently shaped. All right, got to get in here carefully to lift up our ladies. Got to lift up our ladies. Now they're a bit big for this. Oop, I just lost a tiny bit of the, like I said, they're very fine. But we could kind of, I don't know. Or, okay, this is annoying because there's stuff on the other side and it's messing with my mojo. So let's take this one. Because my only other thought is getting a double box. And I don't really know that I truly need a double box on this side of the page. But I think I kind of want them like maybe up in this corner here. So if we're going to put them there, we could put a box this way and then one underneath it. Yeah, I think that's what I want to do. Okay, so I don't know the placement though. So we're going to make that... And we're going to put the ladies on the top. Move them over a tiny bit. Kind of like that. And then let's grab our purple box. And we can sneak the purple box right up here in behind. Like so. Hopefully this is all straight, because if not, that's going to be a bit of a nightmare <laughs> to try and correct. But we'll know in a second, won't we? Okay, so I want them to kind of... Actually, we could even bring them over the border a bit. Like so. Cute! They're a little cockeyed. All right, let's pray together, people. <laughs> okay, so at least now I know the box placement. I wasn't sure how low I needed to, I don't know if they're gonna come up. They're kind of really loving being attached here. Gentle, breathe through it, there we go. Okay, cause then we can kind of bring them in so they're straight <laughs> and not crooked. Yeah, I wasn't sure how low I needed to make the boxes to be able to accommodate them. Oh my god! Okay, so cool. Alright, so let's go have a look at some of the quotes I did. We've got the Eye of Newt and Toe of Frog for the Midnight Margaritas. We've got Little Witch in Every Woman. Curses only have power when you believe in them, and I don't. You know what? I wished for you too. I also put in here, get the bird, get the book. <laughs> Verbena Britannicals. That's the shop, of course. I just, I love this movie. Love it, love it, love it. I don't know what I want to use for a quote. Or if I even need to make that decision right now. Maybe what we'll look at is getting some stuff here. Maybe here. And then we'll put something over here, I think. All right. So back to our, these things. I wonder... Are they going to look odd now that we've brought in all these purple florals? Or are we going to be okay? Because they have the florals on them. I need sure to do that. I don't really like that. Careful, 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 because we're on the spine. Yeah, I don't really like the rosemary. Okay, well, that's why I like to give myself options, because <laughs> you never know. Well, actually, you know what? In my case, you do. If it's purple, it's going to win. It will always win. All right, I want something down here. But I think we'll bring in a black and this one. I'm all about the box clusters. I use checklists, but they're not my friend. Like, they're, I won't reach for them innately. <laughs> there's there's got to be a reason. So let's put this in here like so. Well, although I will say the last, I think, two weeks I've been using the checklists. It's kind of been nice 
they have been useful because it's like it's a list and you get to tick things off whereas I always feel kind of a little bit weird when I'm writing just in the white space sometimes so sometimes the lists are good the checklists are good I will I will give it that okay so we have something down there which is good we just need some activity over here and of course I do have more of these florals which where was that one I pulled off this one we're gonna put up in this corner I want to take it out to the edge of the page without covering up my 22 too much so although if we do that okay hold on let me have a look at this we've gone to the edge of the page on both the top and the bottom we could stay within the box. We don't have to either because we could just as easily stick something like that in here. Now I don't know what I want to do. I mean, I could put it kind of like that, but I don't like that look either. So the frustration begins. Sometimes it's so easy. Sometimes it's not so easy. We're going to take this, but then that means I cover up October on the other side, but that's fine. So that's what we're going to do because, hey, why not, right? So we'll cut that off and then we're going to cut this little bit off. Okay, and then we're going to do the other side, but I'm going to white out. Well, maybe I don't have to white out October before I get too crazy. Let's see what we have as an option. This is the same sticker, I believe. It's just going to come in on a different angle. Oh no, it'll be all right. Okay, so we may not even need to white out the October. It might cover the entire thing. If I can get it to the edge of the page, that is. Don't rip the sticker, don't rip the sticker. <laughs> uh, don't rip the sticker, don't rip the sticker. We're gonna start singing that song. It's the don't rip the sticker song. Okay, pretty, pretty, pretty. All right, now I have a lot of things. This looks kind of odd. I don't. So the only thing about this set I didn't like is this. I wish that it had been, I mean, I guess I can cut it. You know what? I think I'm going to cut it because I don't really like, ooh, maybe we won't be cutting it. <laughs> maybe we have a problem here because really, if I cut off kind of along this tree and down, although it won't make that much of a difference because it's still going to cut off at the fence. That I'm going to think about. I might cut this off might I might okay we still haven't solved our problem down here we have not and I did need boxes on the 17th 16th 17th and 18th so um let's see I have a checklist if I put a checklist on this side I have to try and get one on the other side so let's just put one down Let's see what it looks like. And if I don't like it, oh, mine are too short. I always make mine a bit shorter for some reason. Mm, I don't like it. Not like I said, I'm not really big on checklists. I would rather go with boxes over checklists. All right. Um, well, in that case, we are going to need. Um, something down here and I'm trying to figure that out hold on we have where's that this one as I was gonna say I had this box out already with the symbol we were talking about this last year one of you had we were talking about this on Instagram about this wonderful little decal or whatever that you had that's this it's very cool you were you put them on the truck or something it was very very cool are you straight are you straight this is not something we always know okay and then we have purple, which can come down here. And then we're going to grab one of those corner PC things. If I can find the right page. There's this one. Oh, we could do that too. Maybe we'll bring in one of the crystal things. Something like this the only problem is that the 
flower gets in the way, but if we cut it off, it doesn't. We could also put that kind of like right there, which is actually kind of a nice compliment. So let's do that. We're going to put that one right there. And then I thought I had done some smaller ones. Are they all kind of similar size? I thought I had shrunk some of them down, but apparently not. It's okay. I do like stuff that's a little bit on the bigger side. Now, of course, you guys, because you're downloading the graphics, you can do whatever you want with them. You can resize them however you see fit. I think I want to put this one over here. I think I'm just tempted to cut off that stem so it's not in the way. Like so. Let's take this guy and put this one down like that. I also just realized I didn't mirror any of them. Dumb. It's the one thing I complain about massively. You listen to me do it all the time. Did I forget? I forgot to do it. <laughs> okay. We're coming along really nicely here. Um, what else do I want? I have headers. Um, I've got the Practical Magic there, so I don't really want to put a second one on this side. I could take the There's a Little Witch in Every Woman and put that like right here. Just looks like there's it, there's this huge gap there. And maybe that's where this comes in handy is this just random quote in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> random quote in the middle of nowhere. <clears throat> um, interesting. Oh, it pulled up a little bit of the page. It's okay. Okay, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Hold on, it'll come to me somehow. We'll figure it out. Uh, like I said, I'm not fond of this sort of deal here. Realistically, what I should have done was probably put this house on this side of the page because it does cut off on the other side. And that might have been okay. I should have, I could have reversed it too, had I been thinking. This is really going to bug me. But I'm concerned that if I cut it off, it's going to look weird. Okay, well, we're just going to leave that there. <laughs> I did the same thing with Cookie Monster, you remember? I didn't really think about it. And then all of a sudden, when I, I got it onto my spread, I realized I put it in this side and it probably should have been on that side. Well, you know, it happens. Okay, so let's grab um, this week's sticker. And let's put that across here. Probably should have done these in clear, but yeah, whatever. I'm good. <clears throat> I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Let's just make our little stickers today. Today, actually, put this one down here so it has a little bit of offset. And then we'll grab an important. So we'll make that work over here somewhere. Okay, so there goes that. All right. Now, other than the fact, like I said, we got kind of an issue here. But again, this is my, I don't really do a ton on the weekend. So yes, I, oh, we didn't get the book in here either. And I really wanted the book. <laughs> what am I saying? I want them all. I want them all. I'm half tempted to cover up the magic margaritas and just put the book here instead. Where do we put the book up there? No, let's put the book down here. I'm going to cover up the margarita. There. Still on the fence about the house. <laughs> but we are not going to worry about it too much right now. I do have other floral clusters. Like we have this one, which is specifically set to come sort of out of the side of the page. So I think we're just going to grab this guy because this is going to be our winner. If we can get under him. And this will solve our problem and the spread will be done. Can I have my sticker, please? Like so. You see what I'm talking about? Like it's just enough to sort of help fill in this little area which needs a little something something and I don't really want to put a lot there because I'm literally going to throw Costco and grocery shopping on it. It's not going to be anything major. All right, I think we're done. I am contemplating taking the washi across the top. I think that is our plan. So let's pull this and let's get it straight because hey, that always is a win. Okay. 
like that. And then let's not pull it too tight because you all know what happens then. And then we'll line up our pages. Okay, never line up properly. Like if you match the holes together, the lines don't work. Which, you know, in the per like perfectionist side of me drives me a little bit crazy. Yeah, okay, that's the way we're gonna finish this. So we're gonna trim this off here. And we're gonna trim these guys here. And then I've gotta just sort of pop underneath this sticker in the corner. And then we are done. This is gonna be fun. Where's my sticker picker upper, dude? Sticker picker upper is an awesome invention. Don't rip my sticker, please. I just want underneath. And I don't have to move you a lot. I just want a little. And I ripped it a tiny bit, so. Yeah, this thing works like a hot down. It's always linked in the descriptions. At least I try to remember always to link it in the descriptions. If I should ever miss it, um, you can either let me know in the comments and I'll dig the link out for you and fix it in the video. Or um, if you check one of the other ones, it's generally in there. So yeah, just easily let me know in the comments and I can fix it. Voila. And then we just need to figure out this side because I need to poke it in here. So it needs to look like it's popping in between florals. Like so. Oh, that was terrible. That was terrible. So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do a little sticker mending here, or as I call it, washy, <laughs> washy fixing. And then we're gonna trim that like that. And that's a little bit better fit. It doesn't look so awkward. Okay, I think we're done. I'm kind of really happy with it. You'll have to let me know what you think in the comments. I'm always interested to hear what you guys think. Like I said, I have been sitting literally so excited i wanted to share this with you so much but i did i couldn't do the spread actually the funny thing is is i was getting ready to decorate my thanksgiving spread and for some reason i thought it was this week i'm happy i paid attention because it was actually thanksgiving it was not the practical magic week but i love it there we go <laughs> it's awesome so fun all right let me know what you think in the comments thanks so much for watching guys i will see you next time ciao